Hey guys, it's Maggie from Knitting in the Park here. I am really excited. This is my first like knit along video. Um, Darn Good Yarn, who I, you know I love. Come on now, you know I love them. They've sent me some of their, I can never say this right, Amigurumi kits. Um, you might be familiar with Amigurumi as the crochet style uh, where you get to make these adorable little projects. So they sent me their, their kit, which their kit of kits, I guess you could say. So there's a lot of different really cute little guys. I'm going to be trying their uh, succulents. That's the word, Mags. Uh, the, the cacti that uh, is really adorable. There's three cacti in this kit, so you're not just getting a rando, I promise. There's three. Um, I actually already started one of these in a previous video, but I had to pull it all out because Maggie didn't read the lovely little directions that they give you to show you what they mean by circular cast on. So, I just did a tubular cast on, my go-to without reading, and it actually would require me to somehow thread back through. Uh, this is top down, this cacti, cactus, so um, you wanna be able to cinch it up. And, and what their circular cast on, yes, it does use a crochet hook, but what it does is allow you to cinch that together at the end of your project. So, the cool thing about these kits is that they give you everything you need. So, you have a darning needle. You have the crochet hook for the circular cast on. So if you're a knitter like me, even though I, I do have crochet hooks swimming around uh, for finishing <laughs> and crocheting in the round, um, they give you everything you need to do that. They give you the double pointed needles or DPNs that you'll need. I can actually give you four of those. Uh, they give you the instructions. And like I said, I didn't look at the instructions, so they have pictures to help break down the skills uh, that you need to work this pattern. So again, we're gonna start with Cactus B. So I need this little yarn. So, so far I'm finding the pattern pretty easy to follow. Um, I wouldn't say it's like super beginner friendly, but it is relatively beginner friendly in that they give you all of the abbreviations plus instructions plus pictorial instructions, uh, but you can always take the abbreviations, go out and search for them. Uh, so you can find video tutorials on those as well. Some of them I've made, some of them I've not yet made, but that's okay. We're getting there. Uh, I'm really excited about these. I think these are fun. These kinds of projects are fun little breaks from the larger shawls that I tend to make. They make really adorable gifts, uh, decorations, little things. If you've got kids in your life, or you know, some people, you don't have to always have a kid in your life to like a unicorn. <laughs> Next round. Anybody ever feel like the next round is like leveling up? <laughs> it's like, like when you're playing a video game. You've made it. P.S. My hair's for the mess. Okay. Oh, sweaty puppy, you think? No, those, oh. There goes the kit. All right, so we finished the top of the little uh, cactus. Now, I I know uh, using stitch markers when knitting in the round on double pointed needles can be a little bit tricky because sometimes you're feeling like they're falling off the needle. I like to use the ones that latch. And then, especially for this section, I like to put it so I've worked the increase rounds and now we're just going to knit a bunch of rounds to actually get the, the body of the cactus. So I'm going to put my stitch marker 
not just at the beginning of the round, but I'm gonna clip it to the stitch so that as I knit, the stitch marker stays clipped to this stitch. And if I lose track of my row count, I can always count back down to see how many rows I've worked and find out how many I have left to go. Uh, so sometimes you can you know, clip one here and then as you're working, say you knit 10 rows or something like that, clip another one and kind of build it up and you can uh, continuously reuse them, move them as you go. It's totally up to you and your preference when you're knitting, but I find it helps. So <laughs> I found a mistake that I made on my last round of increases, you have three needles you're working across, so I did the increases on one needle, did the increases on the second needle, forgot them on the third. So I had 10 stitches, or yeah, so 12 stitches, 12 stitch stitches, and 10 stitches. So I just adjusted my first round of decreases rather than ripping it all out and starting again. Um, in knitting, a lot of the times there will be mistakes made, but there are certain ways that sometimes we can adjust it. Had I not told you that I made a mistake, probably never would have seen it. Like who's gonna sit here and count my stitches on this tiny little amigurumi, <laughs> got it, uh, project. So I'm gonna keep going and working my decreases here and then I'll be ready to make the cactus flower, which is pretty exciting too. I don't know why, I, for some reason I decide my cactuses are male, the male gender, I don't know. So we're just gonna knot him and then we'll be able to sew the flower on later. And the pattern then instructs us. I'm waiting to see how long it takes Murphy to hear the crinkling and see the stuffing and think that this is a toy for him. Stuff this little guy. And there it is, the first little piece of your ar I'm a I almost did it. Argue me. Um Amigurumi Cacti. Alright, step two, cactus flower. With the yellow yarn. Lello yarn. Cast on 20 stitches. All right, so I guess we're just gonna do it. Just, just do it. No circular cast on here, so go back to my trusted tubular. Crochet is probably looking at me like, oh my gosh, she's terrible. I knit, I don't crochet that much. Don't judge. Distribute evenly among three stitches again. So we can follow that. One, two, three, four. is having dreams <laughs> you know one of the things I like about this cast on and I might have to keep using it is that there's no real guesswork when you like when you cast on and knitting and then you go to line your stitches up in a circle um, it's always kind of like uh, make sure not to twist them figure it out it takes a couple minutes this because you're you've already kind of got like a foundational stitch or a foundational row I should say it all just kind of comes together and you just like pull the little piece of yarn and it's like magic so yeah I might be borrowing some techniques Okay, so we're on the top of the, the pot and we're kind of unpacking these instructions here. So 
This I would say is probably the most complicated the pattern has been so far, but I think we can do it together and I'm not, I'm, I'm pretty confident. So what we're gonna do here is fasten off, what they call fasten off, otherwise known as um, a knitted bind off. So you knit one and then bring the stitch up and over the one you just knitted. So we're gonna do that for all of these here, all 30. Pick up the back loops of the stitches, join and work in the round. Where's my? So I'm just not quite sure what they mean when they say back loops. So we ended with 30 stitches, so it's must be the back of the stitches we just bound off. And there's no picture and str oh wait. It's defined under the crochet side. Um, so Okay, so I finished the little pot for the cactus, cactus, I keep saying cacti, but there's one right now. <laughs> um, I kind of made a mistake, so when it had you bind everything off, I broke the yarn. You don't need to do that, you can just continuously work, so I had a few more uh, yarn tails to weave in than I probably should, so if you saw things dangling, you don't need to worry about that. And we're on the second to last step now, which is the soil, which is really cute. So it's not just cactus meets pot. Um, there's some dark brown yarn that they give you to make the soil. So for the third time, now we're going to use the circular cast on and again, do 12. So the, the, the one of the nice things about this pattern while I do wish there were some tutorials on some of the other skills, it, there's a lot of repetition. So every everything so far with this second cactus, cactus number two, it's the first one I'm making, has been use the circular cast on, cast on 12. Um, so there is repetition, it's the same increases, the same decreases. Uh, so there is a little bit of familiarity as you go through with the different parts. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'll probably speed it up, but we'll meet you back here, sew it all together and do the final reveal. Speed knitting! Seriously, I just talked about repetition and how it gets easier and then I totally screw it up. Go me. Go me. Do you ever notice that like, the harder something supposedly gets, like the worse your posture gets? Okay, so I am, I just wove in the end for the edge of the dirt. It really says to leave it long and use it to sew it in, but since I already have such a long tail for my pot, I'm just gonna use that. And then I'm going to leave, since the center is that like cinchy kind of cast on, I'm gonna leave the center open, stuff the pot through that, and then cinch that up since where that's um, underneath where I'm gonna attach the cactus. So it's gonna be hidden and it doesn't really matter if it's not the neatest. So far, I have to say I really like these patterns. It was really fun. It's been really fun, it is really fun. Um, I'm excited that I have more to do. I'm going to be doing more of these videos for all of them just so that you can kind of get a feel for what the pattern's like before you buy them. Uh, some things are really well explained. I think others they could use a little bit of a tutorial video, but I'm going to talk to them about that. And um, I think they're adorable. I think they're going to, I'll probably actually save them. 
in hopes that we have a little use for them soon. But like I said in the beginning, totally would make a cute gift. Um, they're really grippable and soft, so if you have any baby showers that are coming up or know any little ones um, that, you know, are in those ages where, like, sensory development is really big, it's great for them. Uh, I just really had fun playing with yarn in a new way, a way that I'm not really used to, so... That was kind of a guess there. Overall, it was a really fun project. It was a little bit challenging at times, but if you pay attention to the instructions that are given, take a look at the different photos that they provide, and just really dive in, I think it's going to be a very fun project for you or would make a great gift for someone that you know that likes to either knit or crochet. Again, I showed you what it was like to knit this project, but there's also instructions for crocheting the project. You can check out this and other types of amigurumi projects on the Darn Good Yarn website, darngoodyarn.com. And as always, use my code knitting in North Park 15, all one word, to save 15%. Thanks for watching guys, this was a really fun video. I have a feeling you're going to see some more of these as I work through some of the other projects. So stick around for the unicorn, the fox, the watermelon, and a few more. Have a great day, and don't forget to subscribe.